Okay, I've got a model here with some lights uh, rigged up, uh, uh, IES lights. So if I come over to the light up preferences and I choose uh, Lux Contour, it's on vertical sky at the moment, so we'll choose clear sky, direct light uh, mode. We don't want the sky dome to have any effect, so we're just going to set that down to zero. Um, and then you should just be able to press go. And uh, now you can uh, move around and expect your model in see the Lux contours. Now there's different modes um, that uh, LightUp has uh, for rendering. Um, you can choose uh, a sort of a stepped mode. Um, well, you can choose a, a show an ISO Lux mode or a step mode. Um, and so it's uh, useful in some circumstances. There's also, uh, as I mentioned, a mode uh, which shows ISO contours, um, which again, depending on your use case, um, may suit the uh, application better. Um, so, um, so if I just go back perhaps to the... Um, I can, I can um, use the interactive light meter to uh, take spot readings. Um, but if I just go back to the um, Lux Contour mode um, for now. And we'll stay in stepped mode. Okay. Um, so one of the things is that uh, LightUp will automatically add to your components a dynamic component uh, that is useful for um, setting up samples. So it's called a light meter grid um, and you can just uh, drag that into your model, um, place it there. We're going to resize it. Um, uh, over the area that we're of interest. Now, it's quite a lot of samples. It's automatically generated. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just set that down to one meter spacing just to have a slightly less. And we can get another um, light meter grid and we can uh, rig it up uh, on the floor. Um, so again, you can see it's automatically generating all these samples. It's probably too many samples. And again, we'll put that down to one meter spacing. Um, Oh, uh, let me get rid of that light. Um, and um, so now we've got ourselves all, all um, rigged up. We can go back here to uh, go and we can start. Now we've got um, the samples showing um, with the, the rendering. Uh, over on preferences, there are the Lux Low, Lux High. So these are the bracketing uh, values. So it's useful sometimes to adjust those depending on what the dynamic range of your uh, lighting is, um, just to get more detail. So here I've put the maximum as uh, white would be 250 uh, Lux. Um, but it obviously depends on um, different situations. Um, and uh, that's about it.